Yeah. Yeah. Record this now. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Just letting you know, so that I'm video and audio recording you, is that alright? Wait, you don't wish to talk to me now. See, look, if, if what he was doing to you, yeah, was fully legal, my mum would talk to me. But it's not, so he won't talk to me. What have you actually done, Miss? Um, apparently dropped a cigarette on the floor. Apparently dropped yeah, a cigarette on the floor. Have that. That you proved that it's yours? No. Nope. No? There's no way of so, so why? So why are you giving him his information then? Because you felt intimidated and threatened. So this guy here is intimidated you and threatened you to make you believe you're obliged to give him your information, yeah? Yes. Okay. What have you got to say about that, sir? As a public servant. But no comment. Community Protection Officer 9982. I know you might think I'm a bit strange or something, but I've been putting them on YouTube, innit? This guy's going on as well, man. Can you tell me the difference between a statute and a law, please? No? You can YouTube it if you want, I'll give you the channel. I'd just like to let you know that failure to differentiate between statute and law is gross negligence and equals fraud. Still no comment. Even though you committed fraud. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. So he's making you believe that you're obliged to answer his question, but he hasn't spoken a word to me yet. I stole that piece. Don't give him the information. Honestly, you're not legally obliged to, or lawfully obliged. Yes, you are. No, you're not. No, you are not obliged to give him that information. He's going to lie to you or all day. We live in a hypocrisy, not a democracy. Okay. No, you cannot be arrested. You cannot be arrested. I'm, I'm, I'm just hey, excuse me, excuse me. Before you ask him that, can you ask him to prove that he's obliged? You're obliged to give him that information. At the end of the day, he's only a human being, just the same as you are, you know. Ah, oh, that's bad. You don't believe me, do you? You know what, yeah? I'll give you my YouTube and that before I leave, innit? And you'll believe me by the end of it, trust me. And the next time one of these imposters, these private policy enforcers, are just trying to make your money off you through statutes and acts, ask you a question, you'll know exactly what to say. Do you feel happy that you're robbing these people? Yeah. Do you feel happy that you're robbing these people of their hard earned money, sir? <laughs> that's pathetic and cowardly, that, sir. If you were to stop me in the street, you'd have me believe that I'm obliged to answer your question. And you haven't got the common decency to even look at me. What's that about? You see how corrupt these people actually are? If what he was actually doing was lawful and legal, he'd turn around and speak to me, would he not? You don't think that I'm saying what's, what I'm saying is true? Yeah. Well, you, so you, you still want to give me details though? I don't understand that, you can understand what I'm saying is true. And then straight I away... I have to speak, bro, and I've actually seen someone, our sister, that did on the scooter, and they came over to me and asked my details and I gave them to them. And after I'd given them, to, given them my details, they turned around and said, next time, don't give me real details. You're not actually le legally or lawfully obliged to give them your details until you break a law. Dropping litter on the floor is not actually a law, it's an act. You know what the difference between an act... You know what the difference between an act and a law is? No? Yeah. An act... An act is... Hey! I can remember you from yesterday! Here's the guy. I'm alright mate, how are you? Have you found out the difference between a statute and a law yet? Same thing. Same thing. It's not the same thing. And I'd just like to remind you as well, you've been audio and video recorded and fail you to differentiate between statute and lawyers, gross negligence and equals fraud. Do I look like a lawyer? No, but do I? Sorry, you can record me, mate. I'm recording you as well. That's fine. That's alright. That's fine. You see what I'm saying? These people have you believe, intimidate you, have you believe that they're obliged to answer anything that they do, make it that we can't record them, even though this guy's obviously blatantly recording me. Ridiculous. This guy is a coward. You are harassing the officer, you know that's where that is. I'm not harassing the officer. Yeah, no. Me. No problem at all. That's fine. See, what they're going to try and do now, yeah? Because I got him yesterday. They're going to try and use intimidation tactics and scare tactics and get the police down there to try and detain something I haven't done. But that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to wait here for him. Just to prove to this. Nice lady, what's your name is? Jodie. Jodie? Thank you. And Becky. And the next time they stop by these policy forces, they're not actually obliged to answer the questions.
Alright, this guy's up to go voice. So is it a date for love for me to ask you a few simple questions then, sir? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not preventing him from doing anything. Right. I'm just standing there talking to these two and asking them a few questions which I'm obliged to do as a, as a citizen of this land, which I'm, a, I'm fully obliged to do. I pay taxes. Obviously, you can see I've just come from work. You lot paid the taxpayers' money. Okay. So I'll ask as many questions as I like, mate. That's not actually a demand for money that's a notice. Noticing you that by you giving him your details, you've actually contracted him with giving that money. That's what it is. It's all contracts, two party consensual contracts. But what, but what, you, can, what, what you can do, what, what you can do is disagree that the actual paper was yours and try and get them to prove it was actually your paper that you dropped. They can't. They can't. <laughs> well, she hasn't actually walked away. Yeah, but you can't say that, though. I, I'm, he, he signed me, which is dropping a cigarette, and I'm saying I dropped paper. But other than that, I'm just going to go. Well, if he finds you for dropping a cigarette, how are you going to accept that when you drop paper? I'm not uh, I don't like arguing. Typical. Typical. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. Okay, right, thank you. Um, I'd just like to say that I've got it all on video, mate, and I'm not going to ask you them. I was just, I'd, thank you. I just thought I'd ask this nice gentleman a few questions. Yeah. And I'd like to ask you the same question, if that's all right? Yeah. Yeah? Can you tell me the difference between a statute and a law, please? Between a statute and a law? Um, I think one's to do with common law and one's to do with um, statutory law passed down by government. Can you, can you speak by that, mate? Because you're the first copper out of all of them that's actually said that. So can you tell me the definition of a statute then, please? The legal definition? No. What? Well, you're supposed to be able to tell me that. I'm not supposed to be able to tell you that. I what? we're not lawyers, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, at the end of the day, sorry to differentiate between statute and law. It's gross negligence and equal sort. You were in the No, I was not. No, okay. Sort now, mate. Is that, uh, is that it? So you're going to leave? I'm not finished asking you questions yet, mate. Well, it's question time. It's not question time, but I believe that <laughs> um, I if you were to stop me in... I think I'm right in saying that I don't have to start and just answer questions to you. But I've already on my way to an incident when this... Uh, at, at the end of the day, mate, if you were to stop me in the street and ask me the same but, thing, but you, you're starting to make me believe that I'm... At the end of the day, mate, if you were to stop me in the street and ask me a few couple of questions and I didn't want to answer you, you'd detain me and take me down to the Bribal Police Station. Oh, no, no, only if there's uh, a chance that you committed a criminal offence. That's but, the only reason I'm allowed to detain you. I'm not allowed to just go up to that girl then, but I still have some stuff. They're dropping bike on you then, officer. Right, the, thing is, the thing is, though, officer, in my past experience, every time I get stopped by the police and I don't want to answer their questions, they detain me and take me down to the police station. Um, you've had a very bad experience then, because obviously they're trying to investigate criminal offences, and that's the only reason they're allowed to stop you. I don't think anyone's ever stopped you for slight tax or have they? No. I, ask you a load of general knowledge I don't. I don't think I've ever actually met a flight police officer. Right. Well, you've met one now, haven't you? You done? Not quite. No, I'm going that way, mate. That's fine. Is that right if I ask you the same question, mate? You refuse to answer my question. Can, you, can I ask you why you refuse to answer my question, then, please, officer? What, what, what incident is this? <laughs> That's just outrageous, mate. That's poor public service. That's just, just another few policy enforcers which I have on my camera robbing innocent people of their hard-earned money. Do you have any comment for that, sir? No, no. no. What do you think of the public service here of this land? <laughs> if you don't want to be on camera, mate, it's alright. I don't want to film you. It's alright. I just wondered. I just wondered what you thought of the, the country, the state of the country. No, you don't want to comment. That's fine. That's fine. Excuse me, mate. Can I ask you a couple of questions, please? No. Please. No.